Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turtle here. Yes, we are back. Yes, I'm floating around in a creative world because I have three announcements to make. The first announcement is that I am back. This is not an abandoned channel. It never really was an abandoned channel. I know that I was updating regularly on another server, multiplayer server, but that server disbanded and I took a break from Minecraft and then the massive server I was playing on just vanished one day. And I just, because of that, I just hadn't felt like playing single player. I never really found another server I enjoyed and I just took a break and dedicated some time to my piano projects and my flight sim projects. But here we are. We are back. There will be uploads regularly again starting very soon so please subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already so that you'll be notified of those updates happening in the near future. The second announcement is I have joined the Paul Source Jr. patron server. Yes, that Paul Source Jr. the First Celebrity Minecrafter, I've joined his patron server along with about 60 other people. There are about a half dozen of us that are doing videos for YouTube, so I have full permission to record on that server once it launches. Paul Soros Jr. himself will be recording on that server while it launches, so I'm hoping, given the size, that I run into him regularly, at least a little bit, and um, hopefully do some collaboration things with him and some others, get some videos uploaded. And that is always fun because seeing multiple perspectives of the same thing but different videos is quite fun. I enjoy it myself and I'm, I know a lot of all you enjoy it as well. So that will launch the day that 1.13 launches. So when Minecraft 1.13 launches, that server will launch and I'll be doing videos right away as will about a handful, half dozen of us others. So look for those videos. Again, turn on notifications so that you get notified as soon as that server goes live and I start recording. Of course, most of you here will also know because of Paul George, Paul Source Jr. himself, and I'm sure you all watch his videos already. So he is the celebrity Minecrafter. I am absolutely tickled pink to be able to play on a server with him, let alone record on the server with him. And I can't wait. So look for that very soon. I just can't stop talking about it. That's how excited I am. So the third announcement is that I am coming up with my own texture pack. We're going to jump into um, first person here to show you. I also love this spawn, by the way. This is a creative world. I just started to test my textures that I'm creating. And I'm going to save the seed for my own personal world someday when I start another one. Because this is the best spawn ever. This is so absolutely amazing. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So texture pack. As you all know... I have been using the Redcraft Smooth Realistic Texture Pack for years and years and years and years. But it hasn't been updated in ages. So at this point, there are more blocks that are not textured in the Texture Pack than there are blocks that are textured. So that leads me to a two-part Texture Pack. The first is I have converted the Redcraft Texture Pack to 113 meaning I have renamed all the textures for the new format and made sure they all work in 113 and that'll stay as it is. I can't use those textures in my own pack. I can't add my own textures to that pack. So my underlying texture pack is going to be the Redcraft Smooth Realistic 128 resolution that I have renamed myself to work in 113. No other changes, so no like proprietary information taken or anything like that. It's just I just simply renamed the texture so they would work, zipped it up, saved it. That's the underlying texture. That's the dirt and the sand and the gravel and the water and the grass and the trees. That's what you see overall, the underlying texture. Alrighty. But what I've done, because there are more textures untextured than textures is I have started creating my own textures in a separate texture pack that'll sit on top of the red craft. I'm also doing a 120 resolution for the most part. I'm not saying the textures are great. I'm not saying they're even good. It's just better than having three quarters of the blocks in default while you have this amazing almost photo real texture is your underlying texture. So I have a little sample, small sample here. I'm about halfway done I just want to give you an idea of what I'm doing. Again, don't expect miracles. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm using GIMP. I'm not that great with it. It's just, I want to do something. I want to try. So, the first thing I want to talk about that I'm most proud of is my cement and cement powder textures. What I've done is I've actually taken photos 
of fresh, real-life cement in my yard and tweaked them a little bit so that they fit the character of Minecraft and then colored them, all 16 colors. Obviously, this is just a small sample. These were the most difficult colors to get, and I've done my best to retain the Minecraft colors, by the way, for these. So if you go close, you can actually see, depending on what device you're looking at, you can actually see that it's cement, and I'm very happy with how this turned out. This one especially looks great. Again, it's not um, an actual photo in that you're looking at a photo of cement because I've taken an actual photo and done a little bit with it so that it blends in with the surroundings. All right, second thing I'm really happy about is the cement powder, which I just simply took the default cement powder, made it a 64 resolution. Actually, no, this is 128. I've upped it to 128 made random patterns and then colored it as well based on the actual color so those are the super cool things I'm happy about I think they look great I think they fit in for the most part it's definitely better than default so that is how I also did things like soul sand I made soul sand look kind of not gonna say nauseating but difficult on the eyes on purpose and the coarse dirt for now is just a higher resolution of default because I can't think of what I want to do. Um, again, though, it looks better than default. If you look at my Kappa Crew SMP videos, I have some paths with nice dirt paths with default coarse dirt on top. It looks hideous. This looks way better than that. I still want to like take a picture of a different kind of dirt. Here is Redcraft's dirt here in the middle. Um, I want to do something similar to that and then make it look more like coarse dirt. I haven't decided, but this is good enough for now in case 113 comes out tomorrow, I'll be ready to go. Um, other things I've done, let's see, I've not touched the mycelium yet. I've not touched the pods oil yet. This is pods oil. I'm trying to think of what I want to do about it. Um, what other things have I done? This is end stone here, which again is photos of real stone. And I just colored it and I think it looks really, really nice. I am extremely excited to see this in the end. However, my end stone bricks look like a two-year-old made them, I know. However, if I think about the theme I'm going to use for the end, they actually fit in. So, it's the same stone, I just drew stuff over it, of course. And it is different dimensions, so I don't need it to look as photoreal as this world. However, what I've done so far too, with the purple stone and purple bricks and purple pillars that I just took the default resolution and made it much more detailed and high res and I might leave it that way I was gonna take photos of bricks and paint them purple and stuff but ooh, it's raining but um, I've decided I think what I'm gonna do since it's a different dimension is I'll keep this stone looking like this where I will have kind of drawn on things because it's a different dimension I think that's actually gonna look okay I have a few more things to do for the ender for the end for the end dimension but I think that's actually gonna be okay so it looks kind of tacky being placed next to the overworld textures but I think you get the idea and I'm gonna get rid of this rain all right let's hop down here and I want to show you actually I'm thinking about it my cement for the gray which I'm really excited about and the cement for the black I forgot to show these a moment ago I just love how these turned out again I don't know what it looks like on your device but um I just love how this looks so anyway, back to the end thing before we get interrupted by the rainstorm. So different dimension, different types of textures, I think is going to be okay, actually. So what is left for me to do? Well, I did a few things with doors. Um, there was not an acacia door, so I created my own. I still have to add, like, the beveled edges. But again, in case 113 drops tomorrow, I wanted to be ready to go. So I did an acacia door, a birch door, and a dark oak door over here, which I gave the beveled things a shot. It's okay. It's better than my flat door, but I got some work to do. Um, the jungle, spruce, and oak are red craft, but the other three are mine. So, a little bit of tweaking there, not too bad. Um, this stone back here, by the way, is red craft as well. Anyway, or not stone, that is diorite and andesite. Those are my favorite stones in Minecraft. Anyway, so I have a few things left. I have a few flowers to do. I have a few more things for the end to do. I have melons and pumpkins to do. I'm not going to do any of the mobs. Um, Redcraft, this is Redcraft Squid. And some of the passive mobs have been redone. The hostile mobs are all default. I like that. It reduces the startle factor a little bit. But anyway, I just wanted to give a little update on what I've been doing. Like I said, I still have flowers to do. 
I still have a few more things in the end. I got to tweak my doors. Oh, I have to make an attempt at the stripped bark too, because I think if you have an axe and you right click, you strip the bark in 113. I haven't done it myself, but there are textures for that. So I've got a lot of work left depending on how deep I want to get it. But in case 113 drops tomorrow, I think I think we're good to go for now. I'm going to keep working on it though, especially the pods oil and mycelium. I really got to get that figured out in a hurry. I really want to do something else with the coarse dirt. But for now, especially from a distance, it looks perfect. Like down here, this is coarse dirt with grass and regular dirt. And it doesn't look half bad. Could be better, but it doesn't look bad. So anyway, that, those, that, those, <laughs> that's my three announcements, just in time for sunset. Um, I'm back. That's announcement number one. I'm going to be on the Paul Thoris Jr. Minecraft server. That's announcement number two. And announcement number three is that I'm doing my own add-on or supplemental texture pack for the Redcraft texture pack. So there you go. Please subscribe, turn notifications so you know as soon as this starts, and I'll see you very soon.